Hi guys, this is part 3 of the Thundersky battery upgrade. Uh, I'm just almost ready to install the uh, battery management system. Just have to secure the batteries fully first. Uh, I've got these wood wedges holding them in uh, this way. And just to fill these little weird spaces, I'm just gonna put, a, put some bags in and I'm just gonna fill them up with some expanding foam. Hopefully that will work pretty well. Hopefully it doesn't expand too much and overrun the fan. While that foam dries, I'm just doing an incoming inspection on these uh, cell balancer boards. These are for the uh, Elithian uh, BMS. And out of all the boards I received, six of them have some problems that will require rework. Two of these uh, end boards uh, have solder on, from the positive battery positive going over the solder mask that is ground, and that could uh, cause a short circuit, so that's a big uh, safety hazard actually. They need to do better inspection at the factory. And for other boards, I found the, uh, the ring terminals are so badly skewed that the board could touch the uh, cell interconnect, so I'm going to have to uh, desolder this and correct it. Definitely, I hope they use a jig when they actually build these. Uh, these ones obviously they didn't. Definitely need some better quality control, especially for an expensive uh, BMS like this. The whole thing for this uh, 45 cell pack was about a thousand dollars. There we go. I'll start by uh, taping all the way around the outside to avoid to reduce the risk of uh, short circuits. Okay, we'll start doing uh, this row, which will be one bank, and I'll start with the most negative connection, getting this uh, strap in. Insulated screwdriver. Actually, that one's the cell board has to connect to that one. It looks like the strap fits, has good clearance. This is the negative end cell board. This one with the uh, orange wire and little black dot right there. Insulated tools. I guess we're not tighten that one too much because that has to be removed later. And the next thing is to tap the negative or positive connection on. The light should flash, that's working. <coughs> You need to get the uh, cell jumper, the jumpers now. Okay, all the bolts are out. Now we can start uh, getting these cell boards in. Now, let's see. The wire needs to be a bit shorter. Bend it in a little bit.
in. Move on to the next one. Okay, time for the last cell in this bank. This one, uh, you have to put a uh, positive end module with a little red dot and the gray wire with a little uh, quick connect thing. Now that all the boards for this bank are installed, we just have to connect up the communications wires. We just use these little uh, quick connect things. You just have to cut the wire to uh, about the right length and strip it and insert it in. In this case, probably to cut off a couple of centimeters of each wire. And it can be uh, inserted. You just have to do that for them.
Now that all the cell boards are installed, it's time to uh, install the BMS, uh, BMS controller, sorry. Um, to start, we need to cut some wire to make wiring harnesses. Basically, one wire to each bank goes from the controller, which will be probably around here somewhere, to the uh, to one cell board. Then another wire runs off to the other cell board on the other end of the bank. So we'll start just putting the wire to where the controller will be. A bit extra. Then uh, figured how we're going to route this. Probably going down the center. Then we'll have to turn it back go all the way to the other end. And that should be it. I don't know if they've given me enough wire. After looking around a bit I found some cable that's uh, suitable. So I think we'll use this in addition to what they sent. That should make up enough. Anyway, the first step is to install the BMS and connect, or the uh, controller and connector onto the uh, onto each cable. Now that the battery is all wired up, we need to uh, wire up the BMS controller. That talks to all the cell modules and is able to control the uh, charger and the motor controller so you don't overcharge or overdischarge the batteries. The BMS controller is wired up enough to uh, test it out and uh, connect to it through serial. So let's plug this in. This will uh, power up this uh, auxiliary power supply that uh, charges the 12 volts battery. Should come up. Okay, we have power. Now let's see if we can communicate it communicate to it uh, over serial. Okay, we're connected and that's working. Uh, just serial at uh, 1928N1, no flow control. Um, let's see if we can drive the contactor. Uh, force outputs. K2 is the drive contactor. Now, how do I set it to yes? Yep, there it goes. You can hear the clunk. And the little light flicker flashes. seems to work now. I'm going to hook up the uh, battery charger and set up the um, high limit output to shut off the charger. Actually I figure I may as well wire up the cell boards uh, at this point and make sure the BMS can talk to all the cell modules. That hole was very tight, but the wires are all in now. Let's start wiring these up. This is for the uh, farthest cell module. This one runs over to this one. Just follow that wire back. 